Armour does several things. As expected, it protects you from damage. What percentage it does it by depends on where it comes from. It blocks 53% from a Glock, right down to just 2.5% of the orps. And absolutely none at all with the SG-503. 503. 503. But who uses that weapon anyway? For more information about specifics, I suggest you check out Sloth Squadron and Black Retina's spreadsheet, which will really help you with your CSGO revision. However, armour doesn't just block damage. It also reduces the aim punch that you will receive. Aim punch is the amount that your screen, and aim, flails about when you're hit by a bullet. Strangely, having a helmet completely eliminates recoil from headshots, but the vest will only reduce body aim punch to 5%. In this highly sophisticated demonstration, I'm going to show you the impact that different shots will do to your aim. Note that these are all without armour. Being shot in the legs will not impact your aim. Makes sense. Oddly enough, being shot in the arms won't either, even though it really should. However, body shots, both in the upper and lower regions, seem to have the same sort of effect in that they'll really mess up your aim. But the worst is the head. These will flick your screen back and forth and your aim will go through the roof. Literally. So how do we get rid of this horrible aim punch effect? It's simple. You don't get shot. But if you do, you make sure you're wearing armour, which will reduce it down to just 5%, which means that it'll still cause you to miss shots and stuff, but it won't make it look like this. The 5% thing is still questionable. I'm sure that a lot of people would argue that having armour should reduce aim punch completely, as it's super annoying and stuff. Just for fun, here's two clicks Philip getting shot through a glass wall, which should lower damage down to just a few HP per shot. It still massively messes up his aim, which makes me think that the location of the shot matters more than the damage, even though the FAMAS still has a more obvious impact on how it looks on your screen if you're shot. Tagging with guns isn't affected by whether you're wearing armour or which bit of your body is shot, and yet it manages to be even more complicated than aim punch, since it depends not just on the weapon that you're shot with, but also the weapon you're holding when you are. And the more times you're shot, the more you'll slow down. It's such a complicated system that Valve published their own blog about it, along with numerous examples to try and explain it. This guide is a little out of date now, they have since tweaked the value so that the weapon you're holding doesn't matter as much as the one that shoots you. But the theory remains the same. The bigger the weapon you're shot with, the more your movement will slow down. And this impact can be reduced by you holding a small weapon, like a pistol or knife. The worst case scenario would be if you were to be shot by an AWP whilst holding one yourself. You might expect damage to play a part, but it didn't. Valve, please fix. A Glock shot to the leg slowed down movement just as much as a headshot would, even though clearly the headshot dealt a lot more damage. Even at long range, where leg and body shots were only afflicting about 10 damage, they would still slow movement down just as much as a point blank headshot would. In fact, it was only grenades that would tag you less if you only got mildly blown up by one. From my testing, I believe that the distance from the blast determines the amount of tagging. It's still better to be wearing armour though, since although the same grenade will slow you down just as much as unarmoured, it will at least inflict less damage. Whatever your distance, grenade tagging is still rather harsh and it certainly doesn't require a dead-on explosion to slow you down to the maximum amount. And to further complicate the whole tagging issue, the number of shots also matters, as demonstrated by this third series of examples from the Valve blog. Although the Bison is a weak-ass weapon, if you're hit by it multiple times in quick succession, then you're still going to be slowed down to a cruel, regardless of the weapon you're holding. Thanks to Sloth Squadron for sharing his knowledge in these matters. I asked him when to expect his first video and he gave me this picture of his progress. And thanks also to Two Clicks Philip for taking damage like a champ. Off you go, Two Clicks Philip. You've suffered enough already.